it's time for the video. Today I'll be bringing you a review on set 75324, the LEGO Star Wars Dark Trooper Attack. Now, this set, I don't actually know the piece count because I don't have the box with me, but it did come out this year in 2022 and it costs $30. Here's the instruction manual. And like always, let's start with the minifigures. First up here, we have Luke Skywalker. Now this is his Mandalorian uniform here. And he definitely looks pretty good. Definitely kind of more of a, I guess, a basic Luke Skywalker. But, I mean, what more can you really do with him? Definitely a great figure, and I don't really think it's one that they need to update anymore. He does have the new hood piece, which I don't know how much I really like it, to be honest. I kind of like the old one, but I don't know. Maybe I just have to get used to this one. But, yeah, he looks pretty good. I believe he does have two faces, probably more of an angrier face in the back. Has a green lightsaber and he does have two different colored hands because the one is the robotic hand where he wears a glove over top of it and uh yeah just pretty good figure to be honest and uh yeah let's move on to the next figure up next we have a dark trooper we get three of these in the set all the same dark trooper which is definitely very good it's definitely a good army building set when it comes to dark troopers and it's a it's a trooper that i think a lot of people would like to army build and it's one i would like to army build it's just you know, I don't think I'm really going to get very many more of these sets, if any, to be honest, just because, I don't know, I need to, if I want to get other sets, I want to focus my money on different types of things. There's the Republic Fighter Tank coming out in uh, the summer. There's still the uh, Clone Command Station I still haven't got, same with the Rebel uh, pack. But anyways, let's get back to the figure. Definitely a great looking figure. I believe it's the exact same as the one from the... Uh, uh, the Architons that we got before in uh, 2021. It does have a different blaster, though. I think in that one, it's a gunmetal gray blaster. This one's one of these ones that I don't really know how to describe it, but it's got, like, the binocular piece on the end there. But definitely a really, really good-looking figure. And, uh, yeah, it definitely represents the Dark Trooper very well. Now, if you have not seen it before, this is just what the head underneath the helmet looks like uh, to give kind of the red eye look and still have some sort of design under there. But... Yeah, definitely a really good figure and one I think they've done a very good job with here. So let's move into the set. Now with all the minifigures removed, here we have just the set itself. Now this set for $30, definitely I would say it's worth it. I would totally say this mounts up to a, a great $30 set. You get four minifigures, which is awesome. And then just the set and kind of the bulk of all the parts in it. Definitely very good and definitely feels like you're getting what you paid for. Decent bit of stickers here, but they're okay. They're not too, too hard to place. The ones in the elevator are kind of harder to place, but, you know, I guess that's kind of what you get here. But let's start on this side here where we have some sticker detail on the back. There's a control panel here, and I don't know what this is, but it, it's obviously something. And, yeah, it's definitely a nice little, like, wall look for what the inside of the... I believe this would probably be in the Architons because I believe that's where the scene was. And uh, definitely a good representation of what the walls looked like in there. And then you got uh, just some studs on the floor. There are some tiled parts, but not too, too many because you need some studs for the Dark Troopers, which I believe they provide a pretty good amount of studs there for your Dark Troopers. Then there is a little feature here where you can take a Dark Trooper and let's say maybe he's getting uh, force pushed by Luke Skywalker. You can pull this thing back and it will drag him back on the stand. So I definitely think that looks pretty good and does a good job at uh, what it's supposed to be doing there. And then there's also another little feature here. It's a little spinny bit where you could put Luke Skywalker on here, maybe put like a Dark Trooper here and you could have him kind of spin around and hit the Dark Trooper, but just a nice little other feature there. Then if you wanted to get more of these, you could possibly like build on another hallway going through this area here. Uh, but that's only if you were to buy more or had extra parts. Then we'll move this set over just to get a better view of like the elevator and stuff. Got a little control panel on the side, which you probably couldn't see because of my hand, but there it is right there. And then we have the elevator, which that's the hardest part of where the stickers are. This part's easy to put the stickers on, but the curved pieces in there, it's pretty difficult actually, in my opinion. But the elevator definitely looks pretty good. It does spin around, so when you spin it back here, you can spin it to the front, revealing Luke Skywalker. And then it does have the accurate stickers up here for the level of the ship that he is on. And then there's just some little, I guess, lights here that kind of show, I guess, the level of where the elevator is, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe if, like, the door's open or what way it's going up or down, I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah, definitely a good representation of what we see in the scene. So, yeah, that's going to be about it for the look of the set. So, 
let's finish out this review. Well, that's definitely gonna do it for this review. So my final thoughts on this set is I think it is a great $30 set. It's probably one of the better $30 sets we've had aside from the Final First Battle Pack. And I mean, just a really, really good set. You definitely feel like you're getting your value here in that the bulk of the parts is very good. They're actually really good parts. Like if you're to get multiple of these and you just wanna build one of these sets and maybe not build any extensions, the parts and even the stickers in this set are actually really, really good. The stickers could be used for if you're trying to build a mock that has to do with some of these hallways, maybe like the Death Star or another type of ship. Definitely very good stuff there. And I just really think that the bulk of the parts you get in this, very much worth it, very much worth $30. I don't exactly remember the piece count here, but regardless of the piece count, I mean, whether it matches a price per piece, I think the set does a very, very good job when it comes to the bulk of the of the parts here. I don't think uh, price per piece matters in this instance, but I mean, hey, whatever you want. But I think this set's a great set. So yeah, it's gonna finish up this review. So if you like the video, give the video a like, comment your thoughts down below on the set and what you think of it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in another video. Thank you.